If they want to win these games, come on, come on. And it's a block. Oh, what? What kind of kick was that? You've got to be kidding me. Hey, hot shot. Sounds like you know a lot about the game. You should put that to use. Come on, let's go take a job. There are plenty of ways that you can volunteer in your community. Just figure out what you like to do and pass it on to others. And you know what? You can have a lot of fun doing it, too. Pick those knees up. Pick those, pick those legs up. Let's go. All right, now. Show them how to kick that ball. To find out ways you can volunteer in your community, log on to teensvolunteer.org. Okay, Ben, here we go, buddy. Ah, ah. That was great, Ben. Uh, this time, just try to kick the ball. Do what you like to do. Volunteer. Ah. And we're back. For 25 years, he's been barking out tips on keeping streets safe. Welcome, McGruff the Crime Dog. So, what advice do you have for us today? Uh, hello? Oh, what, do you got a little stage fright there? No, that's my tip for people who want to get involved. Really? Start by saying hi to your neighbors. From there, it's an easy step to keep them informed about what's going on in your neighborhood. Who's coming? Who's going? Who's that bald guy with a mustache? Huh? Hey, that's my producer. That mustache looks fake. Really? I mean, if something in your neighborhood looks suspicious, talking to neighbors helps. It puts everyone on the lookout, and that can reduce crime. Uh-huh. So the best way to keep my car from getting stolen is to say, nice haircut to Mr. Resnick next door. Sure, if it's true. Well, it's not. If you're concerned about crime, open up to your neighbors and say, hello. Oh, and uh, goodbye. Wow, another tip? No, we're out of time. Oh. But you can learn more at WePrevent.org. A message from the U.S. Department of Justice, Crime Prevention Coalition of America, National Crime Prevention Council, and the Ad Council.